This here is your current WooCommerce product editing dashboard. But this one here is the first sneak peek at the new interface that is being developed right now. So in this video, I'm going to show you how can you test it and what are the limitations right now. So first things first, last week WooCommerce developers blog published this post you see on the screen right now. That is introducing a brand new product creation experience powered by blocks. If you're interested, then I'm going to put the link to this blog post in the video description so you can read about it. They're describing what are they doing at the moment. That is, they're splitting up the interface into tabs. And they are doing it because their goal is to reduce user confusion, improve feature discoverability, and create the scaffolding for greater flexibility. There is no information about when this will be released, but if I have to guess, then I guess it will happen sometime next year. So you can read all about it, and if you're a developer, then this one is especially important for you. So how you can try it out? Just go to the WooCommerce, Settings, Advanced, and Features. And here is a new product editor you can activate. If a site has a team or plugins that are not compatible with a new product editor, then you can't activate it. At the moment, I can do it, so I'm going to activate it and save changes. Now, some limitations. That is, new editor only supports simple products for now, and you will be redirected to the existing editor if you're editing unsupported product types. And support for other product types is coming, so it's an early beta at the moment. And now after activating it, if you open up your product editor, you'll see this interface here. So here goes the product name, here goes the summary. Summary is the one you see here. Price, sale price, description, and as you see, the old description is not visible. If you click on edit description, then the block editor opens up and you can add your blocks. Currently, you can use only default blocks. That means all third party plugin authors have to work a bit in order to make their plugins compatible with those. But nevertheless, if you have used the block editor, then you know what to do. Just add the block. For example, image, I'm going to add this one here, add heading if needed. And now when I close it down and save it and preview it, then it is displayed down below here. Let's test it by adding a new product just to see how does it work. So add new, give it the title, for example, demo block product. I'm going to add a short description. Let's add some formatting here, price. 125, sale price 100, description, let's add some text here, some formatting, close it down, and now let's add images. For example, let's add those five here. And as you see, the first image you add is a featured image. There is no featured image section or selection on the right as it is right now with the default editor. If you would like to change it, then click, replace, add another one, and same goes with the other images. As I see, I can't drag and drop to rearrange them. Maybe they will add it later, but there is a arrow, as you see, just move to change position. Now let's add the categories. I don't see any tag selection. I don't know why, but as I said, it's an early beta, so I'm sure they will add it later. Attributes, color. Now pay attention that those attributes are not displayed as a variations because currently it supports only simple product. Let's add it. Go to the pricing. Schedule sale from today until Thursday. Chart sales tax. Open up advanced. Reduce rate, standard rate, zero rate. Those are your tax classes here. Now let's go to the inventory. There is my SKU, for example, ABC 7890. I can track stock quantity, available 90. If I open up advanced, then I can set up the back orders. As you see, the back orders is renamed allow purchases before it was allow back orders. Now shipping information. You can choose a shipping class and add the dimensions. 
you'll see visually what is what here. Now when everything is done, I'm going to add, save, preview, and there it is. Fairly simple, but I hope that they will fine-tune it, it quite a bit, because at the moment I don't like this edit description option here. Looks a bit weird for me, and it seems to me that default font is displayed, and so on. But, once again, as I said before, it's an early beta, you can test it out. Now, just to see what happens if I open up a variable product here, this one, and as you see, old product editor opens up. So, this was a new product editor, let me know in the comments what you think about it. Now, before you go, wait, if you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up, this one here, and take a look at this side of the screen, it contains two good videos. I think you may find them useful. Meanwhile, take care. Bye.